What's up guys? So say you have a really old iPhone, like iPhone 3, 4, 5 era, and you want to downgrade it. Maybe the latest version of iOS is too slow and you want to go back to a version that was actually stable on your system. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade one of these devices to a very stable version of iOS. To do this, you will be needing a Mac or a Linux machine. So if you have one of these and you're good to go. Now that we have our MacBook, we need to download this thing called Legacy iOS Kit. Now, Legacy iOS Kit is going to be the thing that we're going to be using for the downgrade process, right? So as you can see, there's uh, Linux, Mac OS, there is a Windows tab, but it literally says users should use Mac OS or Linux instead. For the downgrade to go to like really old versions, it'll have to use this thing called Powder Snow, and basically it ranges from iOS 4 to iOS 9 point something. Here's all the features of this program, like there's a lot. <laughs> Uh, target version, here you go, here's like the main versions people like downgrade to. And yeah, you can basically downgrade an iPhone 3G and 3GS to like their original versions, which is really cool as well. So for Mac OS, you can download either one of these. If you're under Mac OS, Big Sur, then you're gonna want to install Mac ports instead of Homebrew. And then the installation process is pretty straightforward. Once you have Legacy iOS Kit installed, you can now plug in your iPhone to your Mac. There we go. Now that the iPhone is plugged into your Mac, you can now drag restore.sh into the terminal. It will do an update sometimes, so yeah, I guess we'll have to update that. <laughs> okay, gotta run it again. There we go, okay. So now we have seven options. Restore, jailbreak, safe SH, SH blobs, app management, data management, other utilities, and exit. So if we choose uh, restore and downgrade, here we go. We have powder snow, which is literally any iOS version. We have the latest, which is 7.1.2, other, which is a custom IPSW, other, which is SHSH blobs, other tethered, DFU IPSW, IPSW downloader, and go back. So the iPhone 4 CDMA can only go down to 5.0 and none of the iOS 4 versions. So we're gonna have to choose iOS 5 through iOS 7. So let's just do, let's do a classic. Let's do 6.0. It's nice, a nice classic version. Okay, now that we have the uh, file for iOS 6, we're gonna go back, we're gonna press 1, we're gonna select our target IPSW, iOS 6, we're gonna select our base IPSW, gonna be the 7.11.2, which you'll also have to download, forgot to mention that. And now we're going to start restore. Uh, sure, jailbroken, uh, sure, custom IPSW, uh, no verbose boot. Now it asks us if our home button and power button are working correctly. I'm gonna type in Y for yes. We're gonna put it in recovery mode. There we go. All right, and we're gonna put it into DFU mode. So we're gonna do this. There we go. <laughs> All right, perfect. Now we have two options of how we want to do this. iPoner 32 and iPoner Light. We're going to do Light because that's like probably the most stable one that I've noticed. So yeah. All right, now look at that. It's now restoring on iOS 6.0. And it is done. Now it's doing everything on its own. It's going to finish it up and then we'll be able to set it up. Ooh, a little bit laggy, but oh well. All right, so 
we seem to be doing pretty good. All right, uh, we're gonna disable that. That's fine. All right, uh, set up his new iPhone. Yeah, we're gonna skip Apple ID. Agree. Eh, don't send and let's go. And there we go. iOS 6 is now running on this iPhone 4. That's pretty much it for this video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you leave a like, maybe even subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video.